Alright guys, and welcome to episode 21 of this Euro 2012 DLC Expedition mode. Now I did say that I was going to try and beat Spain three times and then try and beat Netherlands three times in this one episode. But it turns out that I have got four games in this episode. And you will find out what they are. I mean, it basically, to get the four games that I played, there was a lot of highlights from them, especially with it being a big game against Spain. Um, and yeah, I was, you know, I thought, right, okay, this is going to be like around a 10 minute episode or something like that anyway. So I'll just put it into two episodes and obviously extend, extended highlights because I am against the big nation, like I said, against Spain. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we started off against them and they had like the likes of Casilla, Jordi Alba, like Xavi, Iniesta, Torres. Torres? Big player? Really? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I was I was a bit worried, so I was like, hmm, this is going to be hard. So I had to really step up my game, and I did step up my game. 33 minutes into the first game, Zlatan Ibrahimovic put us 1-0 up, and I was just like, that is an absolute corker. Get in, you beauty. That is why I love you. At times, you know, he seems to have them games where it's just not really going for him. But this was definitely one of his games, and yeah, that did put us 1-0 up at half time. So as you can see, 33 minutes gone, we were 1-0 up, and I was feeling pretty confident that we could hold out. So yeah, in the second half, we came out, and we started well. Swifted down the wing, up against PK, he managed to cut inside, give the ball to Yannick Dijalio, and Dijalio fired a shot onto the post though, and they did manage to get it clear. And then it was their turn to attack as Xavi gave the ball to Mata on the wing. Mata crossed it inside. And Xavi controlled the ball beautifully well. And how he missed that, I will never know, honestly. So, yeah, they then started pushing up, which gave us a breakaway. And Crone Deli was in. He fired his shot, though, straight at Casillas. And Casillas made a good save. And, yeah, but it didn't matter because it did finish like that. As you can see, my players were going crazy. They were like, you've finally beaten Spain. You know, we've always we've beaten all the teams in the group once. And I was feeling really good. So, why... Why, EA, did you freeze when I was looking at the match facts? As you can see, that you know it's not um, going along at the bottom. It's not scrolling. I was like, oh, screw you. So here comes the restart of the Xbox 360. And it got me thinking. Got me thinking. Is it something that's up with the game? Because okay, that's that's the second time it's happened, and the only time it's in the second time it's happened is like in the same scenario, basically, where it's been the first time that I've beaten. Everyone in the group. I obviously I understand like I beat France three times and I completed that group completely. So, but I was just wondering if it's a big, uh, if it's a bug that they actually did pick up. So I was hoping not, and you know I had to go. I, I did go back and play Spain again. So here we are, back at the start screen, and this is a totally new game. But I was still worried. Same team, and I was like, mm, you know, it's, it's it is going to be tough. But seven minutes in, we started off really well. FIFA was repaying me like sorry for you know um, freezing on you. We will give you a penalty in the seventh minute, and you have got Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who was a Quality penalty kick taker. I didn't change it to Swifty. I thought I'll leave it on Ibrahimovic because you know he's, he's okay. He's missed penalty shootouts, uh, missed penalties in the penalty shootouts. But when you look at his penalty stats, you're not going to choose really against him. So yeah, we went one nil up, and then Zlatan Ibrahimovic made it two nil, and it was just one of his games again. It was just absolutely battering the um, Spanish defence. So I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling confident. But then they attacked in the 36th minute and showed really what they are made of. They just played it around them beautifully. Iniesta with the final touch. But it somehow hit the post. It was just, it was an amazing play. And then they hit the post. And honestly, if that would have been me controlling, I'd have been like, ah. Oh. That would have been such a good goal. But it didn't matter because Fernando Torres broke through just before half-time. I did manage to pull a pull a goal back for them. I was a bit frustrated about how he was how he just shoved Mexis off the ball there. And then, yeah, obviously the finish was really good. I was just a little bit, you know, Mexis probably should have done a bit better. But anyway, went into half-time, 2-1 up, so I was still feeling pretty decent. And then they came out in the second half, and they really turned on the style. Back for, uh, back heel there, back into uh, Xavi. But unfortunately, you know, it was a bit of a late challenge. I did get booked, fair enough. I, I'm not really sure who what who, who, the, who that was that picked up the yellow card. But uh, Xavi, with the free kick, was absolutely phenomenal. You know, you're not going to stop that. Even Casillas wouldn't have stopped that. So that was a bit frustrating that they managed to level it up at 2-2. Two to two. But FIFA was feeling very kind. They were like, I am extremely sorry for freezing on you. So here you go, have another penalty. He had a penalty at the start of the game. Now you've got a penalty in the 90th minute to almost seal the game. Zlatan Ibrahimovic stepped up, went the other way, and we scored to make it 3-2. And I was almost positive that that was going to be the game. I thought, surely, surely they can't come back now. I was praying they didn't come back. And I was right, they didn't. We managed to hold out defensively, and that means that we've beaten them for the first time, but for the second time. So I was praying it didn't freeze. I was thinking, please don't freeze, please don't freeze, and it didn't freeze. We managed to get through. I just skipped it all very quickly. I was like, get it over and done with, let's get through, see if we can save it, and it did. And then we picked up a reserve player, which amazingly was Carlos Piel, obviously, because um, he's been out 
he's been out injured, I think, this season, so he has been put into the reserves on the actual game. So that's, you know, that's benefited for us, and that means that he goes straight into the team against Spain. And I was really looking forward to playing with him, so why in the fourth minute he gave them a penalty, I do not know. I was like, damn you, Poyal. Damn you. I mean, really, why? What? Oh, I was just, I was just like, it had to be Poyol, didn't it? It couldn't have been Mexis or something. But actually, Alonso stepped up. I went the wrong way, but it didn't matter because they did. It, it, he did. Uh, uh, he did miss. He hit the post. It came back out, and we did eventually get it clear. So, 25 minutes gone, and we were in with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. A nice pass by Raúl Morelos, and he fired it into the back of the net for one nil. And I was thinking, get in. Come on, can we do it? Can, this should be the third time that we're going to beat them. Obviously, it's going to be the second time. And then we were back in in the 35th minute. Raul Moreira just gave the ball to Matatudi. And Matatudi fired it into the bottom corner. And we were now 2 0 up. I don't really know what happened there. Um, I didn't skip the celebration or anything. But it's just one of those things that FIFA does sometimes. So, yeah. I was a bit frustrated when they came out in the second half. And Carlos Puyol didn't knock um, didn't knock the ball away. That I thought he could have easily just swung his foot or something like that. You know, like the computer sometimes automatically clears it. So, I was, I, you know, I was, I was raging. I was like, Carlos Puyol is clearly playing for Spain. But anyway, um, that... That one goal lead didn't last long because we did manage to get up the field with Sebastian Larson who finessed it into the far corner and got us our two goal cushion back in the 63rd minute. Beautiful goal there as he turned inside PK. PK was left for dead and then we fired it into the far corner. And that is how the game finished. It finished Spain 1, pro playing game in HD3, Santa Carzola getting the goal for them. And they always seem to bring him on at half time for Fernando Torres, which annoys the hell out of me because he's so fast. I just barely, I've got Mexis and Puyol at centre back, not really going to be dealing with him entirely well. But yeah, as you can see, the start side dominated them. Shots on target was like seven times as and then we picked up a substitute which was Juan Fran. I was pretty pleased with that. I was looking at my defence thinking, okay, yeah, um, my fullbacks are the worst position. Basically, the worst position in my team ball left mid. So, you know, I, I do like a good defence. I try to pride myself on solid defence, which is absolute rubbish, basically, especially when you look at, you know, how I concede goals against Lithuania, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, etc. So, yeah, we move on to the final game against them in the final game of this episode, and I was praying we could beat them, but they started off really well. I didn't really have much of the ball, and then in the second half, they came out, Santa Carzola was in, beat for one front, and somehow placed it past the post. I was like, Wow, we have survived luckily there. So 73 minutes in, we were in. Uh, 73 minutes in, yeah, we were in on goal. Swifty, I thought, surely had to score. Casillas somehow managed to pull off the save. They got it clear. And then in the 90th minute, we just, you know, we were just playing the ball around. I thought we could get a chance. I thought we could get upfield and try and have one more chance. But we couldn't. Um, the referee did blow for full time there. So it did finish 0 0, which sent it into extra time. And my PVR cut out very annoyingly. But it cut out in a funny place because just watch this bit of action. I mean, because he swiftly picks the ball here, cuts inside the defence, he finesses it into the far corner, he runs off celebrating, and my PVR cut out like literally there. I couldn't believe it. I was like, ah, oh, fair enough. At least it's got the goal. So yeah, I played the end of the match, and then I realised. So I have managed to get the highlights, the match highlights. So yeah, here is that goal again. This is to go one nil up. And then, um, I think around in the 113th minute, or 111th minute actually, I scored this goal. Swifty fired it into the back of the net after a pass from Cissé. But they did manage to get a goal in the last minute. Santa Carzola was in on goal, chipped the keeper perfectly, and it was into the back of the net. But it didn't matter because that is how the game finished. It finished Spain 1, club playing game in HD 2. And as you can see, I absolutely battered them again. 11 shots on target, 2 shots on target for them. So yeah, we really did hammer Spain this time. And sometimes that's not been the case. You know, sometimes it's felt like they've really been dominant in the game or a half or something like that so I was delighted to finally beat them three times and it, I, I was actually the, the most pleasing thing about this episode is that after the first game I did wonder if it was actually going to um, work for my uh, work for me or not but yeah I was fortunate it did and then the star put the First team player that I picked up was Jordi Alba I'm not going to complain too much because obviously he will replace Safari at the left back and that means that I've now got three Spanish defenders. So each one of the Spanish people that I've picked up is a defender, which is pretty decent because I, I, I like my midfield and I like my strikers. Um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, I do enjoy playing with like 90% of the time or something like that. So yeah, I just genuinely, I'm just dying for a new keeper. I just want a first team keeper because Job and there you go, is Czech Republic. Um, he's actually obviously, he's Czech's reserve keeper because um, he's in reserve to Czech actually, which is quite 
you know, humorous. Well, it is, to me. it is to me. It's probably not to you guys. So, yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. I don't know why you haven't already. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We beat Spain four times. Who does that? So, yeah. Um, to say I'm not a great player on feet. To say I've, like, been drawing to Liechtenstein. It, beating Spain four times is pretty impressive. So, yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for your continued support. I will get another video out of um, Euro 2012 Expedition uh, tomorrow. And, yeah. Hopefully, I, I, I will I'll, I'll probably do another channel update um, probably Sunday just informing you what's going to happen and everything because obviously I said that I do a week of these videos but yeah next week I will be going on to group E and trying to complete that by beating Netherlands three times hopefully it will let me and hopefully I will be able to beat them because obviously I've had trouble with them in the past so yeah thank you so much guys for watching I will see you later and peace out